Hey everyone, so this week I decided to um, plan my week off camera because I also wanted to show you guys a few things that I updated so I figured I would go ahead and plan my week off camera and then show you everything together because I also did go ahead and plan my month of May. So this is kind of like a combination of planner setup, monthly spread, and weekly spread. So. Um, I'm in the Louis Vuitton agenda in the MM size, which is basically like a personal size planner. And um, this pretty much has stayed the same if you watched any of my past videos. And then I always use this um, clear card holder by Dayt Daytimer. And then I have this Ollie clip um, in gold, which I use just to hold this paper backing onto this card holder. In the right at the front of my planner, you some of you have seen this already before. I have these pages as free printables on my website in the personal size and the A5 size. But anyways, I just have this right in the front to always reference my top three goals for life. And then I break it down um, into monthly a monthly list as well as just some monthly things I need to remember to do every month my weekly list, things that I do on a recurring basis every week, and then my daily schedule. This is just an ideal thing I try to follow just to try to keep balance in my day and make sure I'm covering everything. Then I have my monthly um, tabs and my monthly inserts. These tabs um, or dividers, monthly dividers are from cloth and paper, and then these are just my monthly um, spreads. So um, I only have right now I used to carry the whole year but as you can see my planner is getting really packed as it is so having the whole year it was just too stuffed so now I'm only carrying half of the year so I have January through June and then what I do is this is something new so if you watch my previous videos this is a new thing I added so I also have this yearly calendar it's actually two-sided but I have this yearly calendar as a free printable on my website as well, but I'm just using this side. So since I have January through June here, I have July through December here, and then I have these um, important dates here for July through December. And I got this, um, I bought this printable from Peanuts Planner Co. So if there's anything that comes up, like my daughter's first day of school in August, if there's anything coming up in the second half of the year, I just jot it down here. I have this calendar for reference. So I really like that setup. Um, so let me flip back really quick to May because I just did this um, yesterday, I believe, to prepare for May. So it's the same kind of um, format as I usually follow. I should have brought an extra sheet with me, but these most, I think all of these stickers except for this washi tape and this one asterisk sticker are all from my um, May sticker sheet that is available in my Etsy shop. And so, yeah, I just, I have some decorative, minimal decorative, I have holidays, and then I've explained before in the past that I just use um, my May monthly calendars as project planning. So I don't put like appointments, meetings, or stuff like that, but I do put, days off, like my daughter has a day off here. I put birthdays, not everybody's birthdays, but I put the ones that I had to kind of um, plan in advance for. So of course, like um, my mom's birthday, my brother's birthday, my brother's birthday, my godson's birthday. Those are kind of things that I want to plan ahead for. So that's why I put them in here. I don't put everybody's birthday. Um, and then I put, oh, so this washi tape, which I got from Hobby Lobby, skinny a skinny washi tape, one of my favorites. I like to use to uh, mark off days, you know, blocks of days where something's happening. So um, my husband's going on a trip these days, so that's how I mark that there. And I use these little flags to mark those things like my husband's trip, my daughter's day off. This asterisk is for first Friday release that happens every month on the first Friday. And then here I like to just put things I need to get done in May. And then as I plan my weeks, I flip here and see if, what I need to get done. Um, oh, here is um, my monthly focus. Every month, I always have a monthly focus. 
And um, this month is, I'm really trying to get me and my family healthier. And then the other new thing I added is I started putting these little mini appointment labels here for my editorial calendar for the Etsy shop. So Wednesdays are blog posts, Sundays are videos, and then I'll just write it in here. We'll see how it works. So I'm gonna try it out for this month. So this is my May. And then in future months, I always have these sticky notes where um, I write down any important dates I need to remember for that month before I plan out that month. So I keep a sticky note there. Here I have my um, favorite mild liner um, highlighter. It's gray and I use this for everything. That's why I decided to carry it in my planner. So I use this little pen loop that I got off of, um, if you just search in Amazon, they're like, I don't know, six or seven dollars. Keep it in here because I use this all the time to cross off things. And then, so here's a new section of my planner. So these three dividers here, the first divider, I talked about my monthly focus for me is family health. So I created these um, inserts for myself to kind of do meal tracking, um, stats like my weight and my blood pressure and then water so I only put three waters because I have I drink out of a large water bottle and if I drink three per day that gives me you know how much water I want to drink each day so I have three water bottles there breakfast snack lunch snack dinner and activity so every week I will change this out and also these so these inserts I also made for myself and it's the same thing with just um, different headings this is for work and this is for the Etsy shop. So basically it's like an editorial calendar um, for my work. Here's Monday through Sunday. I wanna track social, that I'm planning out the social media, the Instagram, those are the same things, but this is more like Facebook and Twitter and then videos for my work. And then for the Etsy shop or for the planner spot, I wanna try to start planning out Instagram, video and blog posts. So this, these are new. These are two things that I added to my weekly planning just because um, I find that if I don't really plan it out, it doesn't get done as well. So we're gonna try it out. We'll see how it goes. This is gonna be my first week. And then maybe like um, next weekend, I'll show you how it looks or share how it has worked out for me. And then, so then th this is where we get into my daily pages. So when you turn here, this is kind of like my sidebar like if you're an Erin Condren um, planner user um, this is like my sidebar that I will refer to throughout the week but this is um, just a tracker I got this from Peanuts Planner Co as well and um, as a free printable she had a, a while back on her website which I don't think she has up anymore but might again so I don't know check her out check out her website um, I'll link her shop and her website below. I keep this to-do list for any to-dos that need to be done in the week, but not on a specific day. So that's what I'll use this sticky note for. I use this to mark what day I'm on. I use, I stick sticky notes here for reminders. So here's what my week will look like going forward, starting Monday, April 24th. So it's pretty bare bones right now. I just put in what I know is for sure happening on these days and then I start filling it out. Um, but yeah, so these are basically things I know that are happening this week. This stickers for my shop, that's paper blush bar. Um, here's Tuesday. And then these little stickers here, like this one's a laptop to remind me to write. I put that there as a prompt that I need to write, but I left it blank because I haven't decided the topic of my blog post yet, which I will put in here this weekend sometime before the week starts. Here's my Wednesday. This is my Thursday. Um, this sticker here is from Shop Jessica Hearts from one of her $5 Fridays. I was using these this week to mark dates. So this is a date for a lunch date for me and my husband. And then here's my Friday. And this one I left blank, but this is my me time date. And I haven't decided what I want to do, so I left that blank, but I put it here to reserve that time. Um, here's my Saturday. Um, again, here's another prompt that I need to film a video and I'll write the topic of the video in here. Um, 
sometime this weekend when I decide what I'm going to film. And then here's my Sunday. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty bare bones, but it gets filled in a lot throughout the week. And then I use this side of the page for um, any notes. And I've been finding that I've been using this page a lot just to jot down notes, you know, phone numbers when you're take, you know, someone leaves you a message, you have to write down their phone number. When someone comes by my desk at work and asks me to do something for them and I just jot it down here real quick or, you know, the details of what they like, what report they want or something like that. So I find this very helpful that I sell these inserts in my shop, but they don't have the grid on the back. It's just this design on double sided. But a little trick that some of my customers have been doing is they order these inserts and they order my grid inserts and they just put it side by side. So if you want to use that functionality, that's one solution you can do um, for now. So I only plan a week at a time and my future um, planning, I use these little target page flags to mark down reminders, due dates, you know, any tasks that I need to do on specific days and I put them, is there any more? Yeah, there's a couple more in here and it's just there until I'm ready to plan that week. So that's that. And then back here, these dividers are from um, Minted Sugar. I believe that's the name, Minted Sugar. Um, I love these dividers. They're super good quality, like thick, and I love that gold glitter. So I have really four, no, really three sections here. Um, the first one is my personal section. I always have a post-it here for kind of long-term projects that I need to get done that don't really have a deadline, I put it here. Here's like my brain dump and I put, um, you know, things that I need to get done but no particular date. So whenever I plan my week, I kind of flip through here and see if there's anything I can plan into my week and then I mark it off with my mild liner, my gray mild liner. Um, I put like a list of dinners back here, a list of dates that, uh, for me and my family, like date ideas, um, home projects, home stuff to buy. And then the next section is for the shop. And again, this is a post note for, or a sticky note for um, long-term projects um, that I need to get to eventually. And this, this is the brain dump. I also have ideas or uh, ideas for some inserts I wanna make and some stickers I wanna make. So keep an eye out for new stuff coming to the shop. Um, and then this last section is my work section, my day job. And then again, that's that sticky note for a long-term project. These calendar sticky notes are for tracking any sick time, holiday time, vacation time. Um, so when I had to fill out my timesheet, I have a quick reference right here. So I'm finishing up April, I added May. And then my brain dump for work. And then back here, I just have this little pocket. It's an adhesive pocket that I just stuck onto my divider, which I use to hold coupons. This is from Heidi Swap, and I bought it from Michaels. And it came in a pack of a few different designs. This little sleeve holds some checks, extra checks. And then this little zip pocket. Well, let me, this sleeve is from Filofax, and this, um, zip pocket is from Daytimer um, and I use that to carry these um, little sticky notes and these ones I got from Michaels it had another extra one at the end which I cut off because I don't use that one and then back here I have this just cardstock paper I stuck another one of these pen loop things here this is my favorite pen I always get questions about this pen um, because they see me use it in my videos and they say it writes so smoothly and it does. It's my favorite pen and it's the only pen I use ever. And it's Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel in a 0.5 tip. And I just love it. So I keep it here. I don't keep it in this loop because this loop is very snug and this pen doesn't really fit in there. And then Lastly, back here, I keep a couple of sheets of note paper, just in case I need it. And this Coffee Monsters Co. sticker book, which I love so much. It's just a sticker book of all her collection of emoji heads. 
and I just love them so much. Um, they're just so fun. I keep it back here and I love that's in a sticker book so I could just keep it back here. And then I also um, slipped in a couple other stickers. Paper Seagull Co. I'll link her below. I'll link Coffee Monsters Co. below. Um, I really love her mouse sticker. So this little character is called Mouse and she has Bunny and I forget what the other one is called. So I keep those handy in here. And then I keep a couple of sampler sheets from my shop in there too. Um, my most used stickers that I use in my planning, I keep in here too, so I have it on the go. And that's it, that's all I have. That's the updated um, setup of my planner, but it's pretty much the same setup that you guys always see if you've watched any of my other videos. Um, because I really found that the system works really, really well for me. So yeah, that's it for now. Until next time, I hope you have a great week. Thanks. Bye.